Hi everyone, welcome to another video in this video series titled How to Miro. In this particular video, we'll take a look at rectangles, which is one of the shapes that is available in Miro, and we'll also take a look at frames. And uh, to top it all, we'll take a look at how to lock items on your Miro board. Uh, and the difference when using frames versus rectangles to lock items on your board. So let's dive in. I have my meter board ready in front of me um, and if you do follow along have your meter board in front of you too. Let's start by adding a simple rectangle. So I can add this rectangle, I can give it a color and I can place it here. Now usually what you, what happens is when you are adding items to your uh, mirror board, you would want to group things together or sometimes you just want to uh, create diagrams where you want to have sort of a background that groups your certain flows together. So let's say in our rectangle we have added a post-it note. Right. Uh, so let's say this is something, I did it here, all good. So I can move this post-it note, which is great, uh, but I can also move this rectangle. And I can also move this rectangle completely different in, com in a completely different space and this post-it note now no longer uh, fits or, or, or stays in the rectangle. So now to, um, to help this situation, what I can do is I can um, click on the rectangle and then click on this lock icon here. Once I click on this lock icon, I cannot move the rectangle. Uh, the movement that you're seeing is the uh, the entire board moving. With the, If you see the grids in the background, that will give you an idea that they actually the entire board is moving and not just the rectangle. So this is great. Uh, you cannot, uh, I can still move the post-it notes which is uh, which is amazing so that's one scenario so that's one option that you have the other option that you have is to use frames so if you click on this icon here or use the keyboard shortcut F uh, you can have some frames that's available you have a few different shapes um, of these frames um, that are already predefined for you or you can even click the custom one and then um, align this frame or resize this frame to whatever size suits you best. So that's the frame here and let me also give this a color, give it a different color, uh, let's give it blue. So now again I have this frame, I can move this frame around which is great. Now let me add a Posted note, a sticky note in this in this frame. So I did it this here. This is a frame note. Kept it here. Now I can move this note around, sticky note around inside this frame, which is great. Now if I try to move the frame, watch what happens. Now if I try to move the frame, even the note that is inside the frame gets moved, is also moved. So this now is really helpful because now if even by chance if I move the frame I know that all the elements inside this frame doesn't need to be manually moved it's already taken care of so that's great but of course if you look at this one here if I move the rectangle away the note does not move with it so now let's compare what it looks like when it is locked because I can click on the frame just like I did with the rectangle and I can click on the lock icon. Once I click on the lock icon, I cannot move the frame. So that is similar. That is similar functionality. And I can still continue to move the note in and out of the frame, which is also great. So that was really the aim of the video to show these two main um, differences between using frames uh, for your grouping and background versus using just rectangles and shapes. When you move a shape, the elements that you place inside the shape 
really in this case is just on the shape it does not the elements inside the shape do not move with the shape but the elements inside a frame move with the frame so that's a really good use case to to use frames to group elements together you can also name a frame but you cannot name an element you cannot name this object um, so when you have a frame you can obviously let me unlock this I can obviously double click this and rename this to frame demo for instance so I can also see what this group is all about so I don't need to add any other text element um, and therefore frames does make uh, a strong use case rather than using shapes to group elements together so that was a simple quick video um, between uh, the difference between frames and, and, and rectangles I hope you liked this video if you do give it a thumbs up and also do subscribe to this channel so that you can watch um, videos that I upload uh, to this channel and, and you'll get notified about it uh, and please do consider sharing this sharing this video with your uh, friends and family and maybe your colleagues uh, maybe they might find the, these videos the entire series useful so that's it for this video see you next time in another video bye bye